Thank you. Uh, I'm Dave Pollack from the Washington Institute for Near East Policy. Thank you, Senator. I, I wanted to ask you what you think could be done to encourage democracy in Syria and Iran. Well, I personally believe that, uh, I mean, this is my belief, okay? But President Assad has been very generous with me in terms of the discussions we have had. And when I last went to, to the last several trips to Syria, um, I asked President Assad to do certain things to build the relationship with the United States and sort of show the good faith that would help us to move the process forward. Uh, one was to sort of get us over the hump back then of a disruption that had taken place with respect to comments he'd made in Qatar. Uh, another was there was no real relationship moving forward with Iran and we needed to get something going there. Another was the relationship with Lebanon and so forth. And, and our own relationship. So I put about five or six requests. One was the uh, purchase of land for the American embassy in Damascus. The other is the opening of an American cultural center. The other was the border uh, assistance with respect to Iraq. A third, fourth was a visit to Iraq by the foreign minister. A fifth uh, was uh, patching up with Bahrain. And a sixth was sending an ambassador to Lebanon in order to uh, send a message before the elections of their independence and to guarantee they'd stay out of the election process. Guess what? All six were done, delivered. I think it's incumbent on us to try to move that relationship uh, forward in the same way. And I'm convinced that if we could advance the peace process with uh, the Middle East, uh, with Israel, uh, I believe that uh, Syria then has a different set of options uh, other than hedging bets or staking with the status quo. Uh, so my judgment is that, that Syria will move. Syria will change as it embraces uh, a, a legitimate relationship with the United States and with the West and economic opportunity that comes with it and the participation that comes with it. Now, I can say I believe it. I, I've put some issues out there for the test. We haven't yet. And I think we need to go down this road in a way that builds trust in a relationship and put things to the test. I take nothing at face value in any relationship. I have learned that. And particularly in certain parts of the world, if you're talking with a leader in their language and they talk to you in English and they're talking to you in English and they say, we'll do this, uh, but they don't go out and say it in their own language to the broad media so everybody hears it, I don't take it to the bank. So. I've learned a few tricks of the trade over the years, and I think that uh, we can improve that relationship. But we've got to get the process moving forward to do it.